Thank you, Madam Chair. Senator, uh, Secretary Mayorkas, how many people have entered the uh, country illegally across our southern border since the Biden administration took office? A uh, number. Uh, Senator, it's um, uh, over 6 million encounters at our southern border. And how many of those 6 million are still in the country? Uh, Senator, uh, I can get you that information. So do you know? Senator, I don't want to. Would you provide us with a number of how many of those 6 million that crossed our border illegally are still in the country? I would be pleased to provide you with the, any data that you request, Senator. Of the 2.5 million that crossed our southern border illegally last year, how many of them remain in the country? Again, Senator, I'd be very pleased to provide you with the data with respect to how many removals have been effected, how many uh, voluntary removals, how many forced removals. Um, how many um, uh, expulsions, how many individuals But you are came to the hearing today and you don't have those numbers? You're the, you are the head of DHS and you came to this hearing today without those numbers? That is correct, and I'd be pleased to provide you with that data. We certainly have it at our disposal. We've asked for them before and we haven't got them, so we'll be looking forward to getting them. Do you think that millions of people crossing our border illegally creates the risk of a terrorist attack in our country? Senator, um, uh, I think that uh, the men and women of the Department of Homeland Security do an extraordinary job of ensuring the safety and security of the That wasn't the, the question American I asked. I said, do you think that millions of people crossing our border illegally every year, two and a half million last year, creates the risk of a terrorist? With what's going on in the world, people coming from more than 100 different countries crossing here illegally, you don't even know how many of them are still here. You came here today without that information. Do you think that creates a risk of a terrorist attack in our country? Uh, Senator, um, you mischaracterized my testimony. What I, sh what I yes shared or no? Do you, do you think that creates a risk? Millions of people come here, are here illegally. We're not even talking about the gotaways. How many gotaways are in our country here illegally? Does that create the risk of a terrorist attack in our country? Let me assure, Simple question. Let me assure you, Senator, that the safety and security of the American people is the single highest priority of the Department of Security. So you would say it Homeland does create a risk? Security. Senator, we look do you at believe that? Do you believe that border security is national security? This supplemental is about security, right? Okay. It's about making sure that we have a secure, not only secure country, but that we lead in terms of security for freedom-loving people in the world. Don't we start with national security here at home? Border security? Is border security part of national security? Senator, border security is indeed part of homeland security and national security. If that is the case, then as Senator Graham said, as Senator Moran said, don't we need to make sure that as we look at this supplemental, we have uh, security for our southern border as part of what's included? Absolutely, Senator, this supplemental. So we do, we do need to have that in the package. Su this supplemental, Senator, advances our security mission by enabling us All right. to hire the personnel and the technology. I understand, I understand. Now, if you agree that we need to secure the southern border as part of this package, and I just went through a lot of metrics and you don't know the answers to it. You're sitting here today and you did not give me the numbers. You say, well, I'll go get the numbers, gee whiz, I don't have them here today, I don't know what they are. If we're gonna have security in this package, don't we need some metrics so we can show the American people that in fact, we are reducing the encounters. We are reducing the number of people that are here illegally. We are reducing the number of people on the terrorist watch list that are coming across. We are reducing the number of gotaways. We need metrics to show that, don't we? Yes. So you would agree that that needs to be part of this supplemental package? Senator. Would you I, agree with that or not? You just said we need to secure the border as part of the package. I'm not sure what your question is now. We need some kind of metrics and tracking to show that we are, in fact, reducing the number of people coming here and staying here illegally as part of this supplemental package. Do you agree or not agree with that? Senator, you, we, can set, we can discuss what metrics are best to show the progress that we make, whether it is... Uh, of funding. course we'll discuss it. The question is whether we need to include it. Do you think we need some way to track that we're making progress on this problem? Look at the chart. Should that just keep going up infinitum or should we start bringing it down? And how do you know if you don't have some metrics as part of this package? Senator, So we, do you think they ought to be included or not? It's, not a, it's a pretty simple, straightforward question. Senator, Would you just answer it? Senator, we need funding for additional personnel 
and technology to advance the security of the border. We still and won't that, simply say we need the metrics to show that we're solving the problem and bringing down the number of people who come and stay here illegally. Senator, that is not what I'm saying. So you agree I with am, me? I am very pleased to, to confer with you to identify the metrics that show progress in our efforts to secure the border. What I am sharing with you is that this supplemental is needed to achieve that advanced border security. We need additional personnel. We need, need additional technology. And that does not seem to me to be particularly controversial, quite and frankly. I, and as you're hearing here, we're going to need some way to track that performance that you are actually solving the problem rather than letting it continue to get worse, particularly at a time when we have to worry about terrorists coming into our country. Border security is national security. Thank you, Mr. Secretary.